guys, it's Morgan, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about episode 19 of season 3 of Riverdale, chapter 54, Fear the Reaper. Now, if you haven't seen the episode, there will be spoilers in this review, so stop watching if you don't want to be spoiled. With that said, Here's my review of episode 19 of season 3 of Riverdale, chapter 54, Fear the Reaper. It was really sad to see Fred in this episode, since this was the last episode that Luke Perry filmed. But I loved how Fred's last scene was with Archie. I've always loved the relationship that Fred and Archie have, and I'll really miss seeing that. I was really worried that Archie was going to be blamed for Randy's death since they were wrestling when Randy died, and also since Archie had the drugs that Randy was taking. And he was blamed. And even though Archie's drug test came back negative, he was still blamed. So I really liked how Archie raised money for Randy's family and then gave it to his sister. When Kurtz told Jughead, FP, and Gladys that they would have to reveal their secrets while they were playing Griffins and Gargoyles to get Jellybean back, I knew that Gladys was going to tell FP that she's the new Fizzle Rock Stealer. And FP reacted exactly how I expected him to. And it was also understandable why he was mad at Jughead, since Jughead knew. But I am so glad that FP knows the truth now. It was interesting to see Betty ask Hiram if Hal could move into his prison, though to be fair, Hal's cell isn't the greatest, so it makes sense that he would want one with a better view. And I'm not sure if I believe what happened at the end of the episode, when Veronica told Betty that the bus that Hal was on for the transfer was in an accident, and that there were no survivors. Usually on this show, when someone supposedly dies off screen, they come back. So I'm going to assume that we'll see Hal again, just like I assume that we'll see Chick again. When FP, Gladys, and Jughead robbed Pops, I was surprised, but I also understood since they would do anything to get Jellybean back. But I was glad that Jughead took his mask off when Pop shot FP, just so Pop would know it was them. Even though Archie originally turned down Elio's money, I was glad that he went back to Elio and took the money to give to Randy's family. Elio is a real jerk, not only to Archie, but also to Randy's family since he wouldn't give them the insurance money. And it's definitely not good knowing that he's working with Hiram, but I was surprised when it was revealed that Hiram knows that Archie was trying to kill him, but instead saved his life. When Betty was looking into Evelyn's past schools and found out that she keeps repeating her junior year, I thought that was weird. And before it was revealed, I was thinking, is Evelyn Edgar's wife? And she is. But that's not stopping Alice from marrying Edgar. I really thought that Gladys killed Penny Peabody because that just seems like something she would have done. So I was really surprised to see that Penny's still alive. And it was pretty clear that Gladys would have killed Penny this time, so it was good that Jughead stopped her. I still don't like Penny Peabody, but I did really like her eye patch. When Betty was at the farm with Tony trying to take Jupiter, the whole time I was wondering if Tony was really helping Betty or if it was another Cheryl situation. And it was another Cheryl situation. Just goes to show how manipulative Edgar can be. And when the farm was telling Betty to join them, for a split second, I thought that she was going to. So I was really glad that she ran out of there. I also really liked Josie's storyline in the episode. 
During her performance, I was wondering if her dad was actually going to be there, even though she thought he wasn't. So it was really nice to see that he was. And it's also nice how this episode also sets up the new Riverdale spin-off that Josie will be in. I have two questions about this episode. The first one was when Betty and Penelope were at the farm to get Jupiter and Dagwood, and Penelope made a deal and only got Dagwood. Why would Polly agree to give up one of her babies? And also, when Kurtz called Ricky and told him to kill the princess, but when Jughead got home, Jellybean was fine. I'm wondering if Ricky just couldn't kill her, or if the message was code and it was just supposed to freak Jughead out, and Kurtz was really telling Ricky that he could leave. That makes more sense, because Ricky didn't seem to have a problem with trying to kill Archie. I don't think he would have a problem with killing Jellybean. Thanks for watching, guys! If you saw the episode, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And if you want to see any of my future videos, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!